Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to move item contents with Snap in Reaper. I have a project in front of me here with a few loops. And it sounds like this. Now, before we go through how this feature works, let's review. If we grab our items and move them around left to right, they're going to snap to our grid if we have snapping turned on over here. So we drag it to bar one, B2, B3, and so on. It's going to snap to the grid. And that's by default. But if we hold down a few modifiers, it's going to behave a bit differently. So if we hold down Shift, it's still going to move, but it's not going to snap to our grid, even if we have snapping turned on. It's not going to snap anywhere on the grid. Although we can let go of Shift at any point, and then it will. Hold it down, it doesn't, let go, and it does. So that's Shift. But if we hold down Control on the PC or Command on the Mac, it's going to create a copy. Hold it down, and we can create copies that easily. And that's Control on the PC or Command on the Mac. Now, if we hold down Alt on the PC or Option on the Mac, it's going to move the contents in this item container without moving the item, like this. It just moves the contents, which is very useful. If we zoom in, we want to get real close so we can put our transients right in the grid or at the beginning of our items, like this. But by default, whatever we move inside here isn't going to snap to our grid. So with our loop having all the transients on the grid, we can't move it by that grid. It doesn't snap to our grid points. So while it's helpful to line things up at the beginning, it's not really useful for moving it based on our grid lines. But we can do it using this new mouse modifier, but it's not turned on by default. So we have to assign it to a modifier. Let's go to Options and choose Preferences. Then we'll scroll down to Mouse Modifiers and choose Media Item under Context and over here, Left Drag. And here's the defaults we just went over. Just moving the item holding down Shift and ignoring Snap, copying the item, and moving the item contents, but ignoring Snap. So we could change this so it'll snap to our grid right over here, just move. But instead of changing it from its default behavior, let's just add it to one of the modifiers we're not using down here. I'm going to use this one and just choose Move Item Contents and just move instead of ignoring Snap. So now we can hold down that modifier and move the contents while snapping to our grid. And it's going to snap to every quarter note we move it to. And because our loop is based on the tempo of our song, it's just going to shift to a different point on the grid, like this. Let's change our grid to be eighth notes. Right here, right click, change this to be eighth notes. Then we can shift it by the eighth notes that are playing. Start it out over here. Let's shift it forward by one eighth note, and it'll change up 
our pattern. With two notes, or three, and we could even move it the other way. Start it out over here, let's move it back one eighth note, like this. Or more. So it shifts our loops, but it's still in time with our song. Let's try it out with the other loops. Over here, we have a tambourine, which sounds like this. So it's playing on the downbeat. We could shift it to the upbeat by holding down the modifier and shifting it one eighth note to the right. And it'll change the pattern completely. So it's now playing on upbeats instead of downbeats. But it's still in time with our song. Let's try it out with the congas. Let's try shifting it by 16th notes. Right click over here, change this to 16th notes, hold on the modifier over here, and we can shift it early. Or later, so we could try out different possibilities that easily. And it'll also work with MIDI. Right over here, we have the same synth as before, but now it's MIDI. So let's shift it by eighth notes, hold down the modifier, and we could shift the MIDI the same way we shifted the audio. Make it later or earlier. just opens up different possibilities with loops. So that's pretty much it. That's how to move item contents with Snap in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mom.